So we've arrived and this is Sabtat. We're staying at the uh, Antonio Apartments. This is our back garden. Now we had a weird situation because our partners in Cram should have been in this one, but they've, uh, they've had to uh, cancel their orders. So this is our apartment. Um, this is our front room. We've got two bottles of uh, beer and uh, a bottle of wine on our arrival. Deb's frantically uh, tidying up. I'm trying to uh, not catch sight of uh, this packing. So, I'm going to take you in here. This is a little, little one suite. We, obviously, we haven't packed yet. Unpacked, should I say. Um, but we have opened. Uh, we've had to close the uh, the blinds because it's mega warm. Um, so hopefully this doesn't look too scruffy. But we haven't unpacked, so we just in the, the, we have got the beers out though. Look, priorities. That's where I've just come out. Above Savtat, about a five minute walk down the Brodniks in the distance. The work you can hear there is a little bit of dull work. It's uh, quarter past six now, and uh, we're getting ready to uh, walk. So we're heading in. Said it's five minutes in, ten minutes up. So the mausoleum's up on the on the hills top there we're just going to head down this little path 10 minutes up five minutes down i wonder if it caters for people who uh, had a few beers we're nearly down i think the bottom there that's where the town is Deb. We've made it down. It was about five, ten minutes. But we did stop. A bit of a breeze, which is really lovely. But I think this is where they all come for the sunset. And, um, there's a bar over there, right in the middle. Friendly uh, aeroplane for us. Just gonna have a little wander. So from the top there is the mausoleum, and there's a bar out on the peninsula there. Robnick's in that direction as well. So Savtat has two harbours. This is the, the quieter of the two. Up into the, on the hill there is the, I think it's the mausoleum. I mentioned it yesterday. I think currently, obviously, there's a pandemic. And the reckon Sabtat is about at thirty percent of its occupancy. People swimming down here. And there's my lovely wife in the in the distance, right in the middle. You could have brought your portable chairs, Deb. I forgot. Yeah. Yes, but I don't see portable chairs, it's that big. You don't need them. Look at that, I'm going to put them down there. <laughs> no higher required. Take so this hand. is, Take this area um, is called the Rat Peninsula. Hard to see, wouldn't you? Like a tongue, tongue twister, isn't it? So we're just going for a little walk.
to sit down? I don't know. Okay, we'll have to sit down. Yeah, we'll have to sit down. That's Beach Bar Little Star, but I don't think it's open. Sad time. Just on the peninsula, heading back into Sabtat. Um, it's a beauty day, it's about 26, 27 today. Very nice. up in the hills up there. So we walked from the headland over there. We stopped and had a couple of beers in the little, what's it called then? Baloney? Something like that, ba Bania Luca, I think it's called, something like that. We've had a couple of beers there. Got in touch with a couple of folks back home. It's not looking good for um, isolation when we go back, but it is what it is. So we're not sure what this area is down here, whether it's a private or attached to the hotel, but we don't know. We'll soon find out. So the main Safta Marina is directly opposite now where the, the big boats are. If you don't get the size of those, they're huge. Friendly crickets in the background. So we stop for a little bit. We're gonna head, head off and see where this takes us. So, it's upside down. Oh, well done, Deb. We're back in. Deb's brought us. Yeah, uh, these are a handy little tip off oh, Amazon. Ice cold. I think they're about six, six for about eight quid eight. or something. Eight. No, you get eight for about a tenner. All oh, right. That's been in my bag for about five hours. And oh, it's well. like you've just brought it so, in the freezer. What we've decided to do yeah. is walk along the path, see if we can find a remote little place where nobody is. I think we've found it. We yeah. are. Literally, well, we could swim there, couldn't we? Let's face it. And I think we might come back here. I think these are the only people around. 
Oh no, there's somebody behind it, so you look there, they've got the same idea as us. Brilliant. Very good. We should get one of them. We should, we should definitely get one of them. We should get one of them. I'd rather watch somebody do it. It looks very ex... Very, uh, it looks like too much exercise to me. So anyways. say but what they don't say is um, I don't know whether you can see but we have walked from halfway up that mountain down to them to this area which is obviously the wall section so you can just see in the distance some cars we've walked down from there and this is the entrance to the old city or the old town we're gonna head through the gate now Um, we came on the bus. Wasn't that bad actually. What was the bus from Snapchat? How much? 50 kuna. It's about 50 kuna. So it was about six pounds. Um, we're just going to head in and get uh, some suntan cream on it again. That's the entrance to the walls, possibly. Right, we've uh, purchased our tickets to go on the walls. It ain't cheap, but we reckon that this is the thing to do, so we're going to do it. It's about 28 degrees today. Yeah. Out. On the other side of this uh, fortress, I think it's that top section there, uh, there's a bar that uh, I've been told we need to go to, so we'll have a little bottle of that later. Reminds me of uh, an old scene in uh, the Garda. So, this is uh, a long way down. Up stairs right in the middle there. Um, the turret in the middle at the top there is where the cable car runs just behind, and also the Savtap bus is reachable for there from there. down there. 
after we've been in the uh, walk the walls. That's where people swim. And that's uh, Lorcrum Island. And in the distance, very distance, is Saptat. Not something you normally see. done half of it. Boy, it is hot. Um, I think that's the destination up there. Um, we shall, uh, I think you get the ferry from down here looking at that. It looks like it's uh, to Savtat. It looks like you can actually hop on uh, the wall tour pretty much like anywhere really and there's a entrance here where the guy's taking your money and you buy tickets or the entrance which was up where we started which is up there we're within uh, the finishing line the finishing line up there. I let uh, Debbie at home tell the story of the selfie queen. <laughs> no, no. You're struggling. New there, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, we're there. Oh. It's like a mirage. I'll go deeper than my bag. Yeah. You definitely need comfortable shoes and plenty of water. Like I said, today is about 28 degrees. That was at 10 o'clock this morning, so it's, it's about half 12 now, so it's likely to be slightly higher. And there's very little shade, so. And more steps. That's kind of where we started down there. Around about 12 o'clock there. And everybody's meandering where the creation flag is. We're gonna get out the shade and we're gonna attempt to climb this. Well, we've made it to the top. Um, it's like a, just a flat area. A little set, set of steps to get up. They weren't too bad. I think it's been five minutes away, that's it. That's the first person I've seen wearing a mask. I'm sure you're sick of seeing this spot. I guess it's time to go down. Um, like I say, when you get up here, there's not a great deal to see other than the town. There you go. Give you an idea of what it looks like. So on the on the walls, two sprites cost us eight pounds. 
and the can of small small bottles so do take water so apparently this set of stairs is the walk of shame i think from game of thrones i've not watched it so i just read a plaque <laughs> We've had to wait uh, about five minutes for a guide who was stood with about 30 people telling him all the facts and figures of Game of Thrones. So we're, we're going to head up this way. So um, the stacks of these uh, little Game of Thrones merchandising uh, places, quite what a, a Donald and Jacqueline has got to do with uh, Game of Thrones is beyond me, but I don't watch it. Um, I don't think I've been so tired after a walk. Oh, hang on a second, wait a minute. Donut alert for Dev. Push on Dev. Donut shops are like uh, my uh, my brother in Aldi or Lidl. Or that man aisle in the front. Push on Dev, push on. Okay, bro, you can get me a beer now. A bit of the carpenters. I get a copyright strike. I'll have to edit it down. So I'm gonna go, there's a little bay on the other side of this. I think that's the King's Landing, is it? I think. I'm gonna go around the other side. The walls in the background. We just stopped and have a glass of water or something down there. I think this will be a, I think the King, King's Landing's behind that. say sometimes it takes 45 minutes but that was about an hour it was lovely that um, you can definitely see now um, that a lot of people seem to have gone home I mean it's now what 20 past five and it's relatively quiet it's a lovely place very nice so, Deb's looking for somewhere to sit. Of, is it Locrum? Locrum. Um, which is a nice 
I think it's a national park, I believe. Protected anyways. So we'll have a little wander, we've just got to pay to get on. Hello. <laughs> a friendly, uh, a friendly sort. Heading this way, I think this is a potential swimming opportunity. Is this, is this called the Dead Sea? Sorry? What's this called the Dead Sea? Yeah. It's either Charlotte Swallow, the Dead Sea, I'm sure it's no, the Dead Sea. Not. Oh yeah, you're right, yeah. So we've trekked quite high up actually. To a place called Charlotte's Well. We don't know what the significance is. Um, but on the, the island there's a map you can get, which is fairly expensive. I think it's about a fiver. Um, but dotted all over the island are the same map on giant boards, so you can kind of know where you are. Um, plus, every now and again you get the little wooden posts which tell you which way to go and what number it is on the map. So, I don't think you need the map, to be fair. Plenty of these fellas kicking about. So the actual, like I say, the island's on a map, uh, like a track, um, from one to, I think it's 18, different locations on the island. There's quite a few toilet facilities kicking about, so it's not bad. He's all right, isn't he? I think it's a baby. Could be. So this is called uh, the Olive Grove. We're gonna have a, a little quick a break Whew. before we head off up to the main monastery, which is up there to the right, and then first left. Whew. So we're heading up towards the old fort. And this route, which has just started to be paved, um, we're virtually on the top of the island. It's called the Path of Paradise. But uh, Debbie said it's not what she'd call it, as I'm stood straight now. So that's a, a fair, fair distance to go. But the view's at the die for, so we'll, we'll have a go. Last little bit to go. Whew. Right in the very distance, those kind of high pine trees, I guess you want to call them, that's where the port is, so we've walked a fair distance. Deb's just at the fort now. I've got a few steps behind her now. Definitely need decent footwear. Uh, I'm wearing sandals. In fact, we're both wearing sandals at the moment with uh, really good durable uh, grips. Anything else, flip-flops, 
No, you're wasting your time. So we've literally probably got about 50 steps to go. Um, you can just see to the left hand side in a second. Those are the beginnings of the walls to Dubrovnik with a cable car up on the hill. This is the old fort. There's a few steps there. That's all we've got to climb and we're up. Have we done it? Now, tip number two today after the shoes is plenty of water or liquids. Now we've run out of water, <laughs> school boy era, but we do have a couple of beers, so I think we're up there, we're gonna have a beer each. Well earned beer. Isn't that right, Deb? Right there? Yeah. More steps. Well, we made it. The last step wasn't too bad. The brother in the background. So, getting down. Quite quiet. It's just literally nobody here. I think it was a small part of about three or four. Literally no one here now. So this is underneath. Uh, the fort at the top. Not actually quite sure what it is. It's a giant building. We've had to walk right way around it. We're heading back to the port. It's about five past two. We're going for a swim. Just to cool down. I think Debbie's got burnt on her, on her cheeks. So we're trying to stay out the sun for a little while. actually found out what this is called. Lazaret. And we moved from Lazarus. Must be where the, a community once lived. You see outlines of houses and buildings. Okay. Goes on the phone to uh, Elliot. We've run out of order. This one's a mountain. Oh, okay. Deb's wanting to sit on the beach over there, I think, in the sun. I'm paddling. It's actually not that deep. A little cave over there. Dubs still there. Very, very salty. Yeah, that's why it's called the Dead Sea.
Yeah. It's uh, really good. Yeah. Otišao na brod sa nekim gostima. Very strong as well. Yeah. So that'll just be fresh water then, won't it? Fresh water, yeah. You can see. From so this creek, we are having uh, water through uh, in Santa. We are drinking this water. Okay. Uh, this water with this guy is, uh, you can drink it. Wow. We're just going to swim here. Yeah, we're going to swim to that island apparently. I'm frightened to death. <laughs> we're in the middle of nowhere. Well, that was uh, a lovely little boat trip. My old horse, Gasper the Antonio Apartments in Santa. We are going to have a look for something to eat and drink and dry off. It's going to rain tonight. Overnight. Could do a cooling down.
it's about half past six on an evening. Most people don't eat till later. But it is incredibly quiet. Actually, even boys. We're gonna go try to a, a different restaurant, a little bit further up, we've never been to. Savtat consists of like two bays. Um, the left hand side bay seems to be where all the restaurants are and the right hand side bay seems to be where all of the, the boats are moored and you know the, the taxis and stuff. So this is the main, I think it's the main graveyard actually. Mausoleum, I believe it. I think one of the distinguished families of the town many years ago, believe it or not, died of a flu. So the mum, uh, whose house is actually down in the harbour there, buried them all in the walls of the mausoleum. Quite, a, quite a, an easy climb up. And you get some stupendous views of the harbour when we try to get up. Debbie. Mine is a backpack and I'm wearing it today. where the island, one of the many islands up there. And every single grave's got flowers on it, I think that's amazing. Well, this is a a little easier going down than it was it's just literally all steps to the other side. This is the back area of the mausoleum. So the plan today is to walk over section over there. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but we're going to have a little walk. So, not a bad little spot, on site, sofa, uh, to actually break out 
You're on. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, ice cold. <laughs> This is where we are. We're over, I think, where you guys stayed. That's Savtat in the background. Go. Go down there. So this is as far around uh, Saftat's kind of that way. Um, quite shocking actually. Um, so we've walked as far as we can. I think the end is there and then the trail stops. But I'm quite shocked at how run down this area is. I mean, you've got a couple of what look like outdoor swimming areas, uh, children's play areas that are, are closed. Um, all the apartments in the distance there, they're all closed. Doesn't look like any restaurants open at all over this section. You've got this as well. So I think I'd probably be devastated to be over this section, if I'm honest. Some nice villas up there, lovely. back then a couple of restaurants on the way were 50 percent off so i guess it's i don't know it's just a bit quiet over here the covid things took over i think i mean we have walked right we're right around the, the harbour as far as we can, so it could be the fact that we're just on the outskirts. Yeah, it's a little kids play area on the left hand side here. Um, and you can see how overgrown it is, so it doesn't look like it's months, it looks like years that. Strange. Okay, anyways, time for some food I think. Heading back to uh, a bit of civilization. I'm thinking it's more than 50% off for Deb Light. Didn't take long, about five minutes. So that's a locker room down there, the island.
Was that gully in there? disappeared upstairs now which is actually not as good a view as this so earlier when we got the boat just coming from Sabtad Abramovich's boat what was his boat called Deb? That Abramovich's boat uh, the Eclipse the Eclipse I think it was called 500,000 US dollars was no, in the Maria Sorry, 500 million, sorry. 500 million US dollars. US dollars, that's the one. Beautiful. What was the cost up here, Deb? It's 40 quid return for two people. So that's about 40 pound for the two of us. Which is a lot of money, but it's stunning. Yes, I have sat in worse places. Uh, just recovered from having my eyes out. Just joke. <laughs> yeah, there's a very nice view. Swings at the bar, brilliant. It swings at the bar. Very good. No, that was a bit of video, I'm sorry. came this way the other day. Okay. How does one of these street performers look up? Just over on the right hand side here. Yeah. Well, I'm 
I've seen it all now. That guy did that on purpose. He uh, coughed very loudly. Very silly of him. He's got a different vibe on the evening. Um, so it's got a little different vibe, hasn't it? Some nice sunbeds here. Um, and then we've got a lovely little pool and some more sitting areas over there. I'll just show you the hotel. I don't know what they're doing next door, but they, they must be putting some know, power cables in or something. But this is our hotel or apartment, sorry. We're in the second balcony from the top there. Excellent. I think I might take a dip. Well, it's our last day. And we don't fly till seven o'clock tonight. Well, after seven, sorry. So I'm just gonna have a, a wander. Gimbal's all packed away. I'm afraid. So we're hands free. We're looking for a bench to sit down on. It's gorgeous today. It's quite windy, but it's so lovely. So we're at the edge of the trail. We've got to traverse those steps shortly, but uh, Deb stopped for a little light refreshment. Need a bit of energy. So um there's caves under under the this peninsula and this is the, obviously all the way along it's got no safety oh, if you look in the uk we'd have barriers and all sorts of stuff health and safety uh the only barriers you've got is here now i think the reason for it is it's not to stop you falling over but i think it's to stop you can't actually see it but there's an entrance to a cave there as well i don't know whether you can see it on the camera so under under here, there's a cave system. Um, but I think during the war, they they basically closed them off. We've headed around the other side, and we've got literally. A big steep drop down in the sea. Sorry for the shaky camera. 